I'm tired. Maybe I should rest. Okay, let's go to Suo. I'm worried about water. I hope he's okay. Hey, Major General Karn started a rebellion, right? There are probably other OSF that aligned with him, like Gemma was. There's even a chance that the Major General will be there too. If we find ourselves up against him, do you think we got what it takes to win? Major General Karin is powerful. He's a Septentrion. The Brain Eater. When his brain field hit me, my body convulsed like I was having a seizure. I learned how to develop a brain field as a cadet, but it was too taxing to use in a real battle. The fact that he used something so dangerous means that he's not fooling around. Still, I have to go. Right, Gemma? Yes. I have to see what's happening with my own eyes. Why are there others in the city? Wataru, what's going on? No response from Wataru. What's wrong? The city system stopped? Be careful. Arahabaki, the computer that controls all of Suo, has shut down. I don't know the cause, but all of the city's defense systems are offline. That let others into the city, and the chaos is spreading. Wataru, what does that mean? You're able to contact him? I'll see if I can reboot Synet from here. Eliminate as many others from the city as you can. This isn't our normal communication, but my telepathy. The comms are down, so I can only speak to you. I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Do your best to survive. What? Hey, Wataru! Yuito. Wataru is communicating only to you? It looks like Sinet is down, so he's contacting me telepathically. I see. So we'll be without his support for a while. Yeah. He says Arahabaki was shut down, and the defense system is down too. And he said there are others in the city he wants us to take care of. He'll be focusing on rebooting the system. He wants us to eliminate the others, but we don't know where or how many there are. Yeah. Sugumi, give us the rundown about each and every other you find. We'll take them out. Understood. It might be difficult in such a large area, but I'll try. Okay. Let's just clean up the others around us first. Understood. Understood. I can't believe Suo's systems went down. It's usually full of visions. It's mostly ads, but it makes me nervous when they're all gone.
Yuita, Major General Fubuki is in our vicinity. <laughs> Where? Two o'clock. Coming this way. Who are you under? Uh, Captain Seto is dead, so currently... Seto is dead? Wait, are you under Karn's command? Or did he not summon you? Major General Fubuki, I'll explain the situation. I see. So Karin didn't summon any soldiers here other than Gemma. Um, what's going on? It looks like the city defense system is down. I'll explain later. I still don't fully grasp what's happening as well. What I know for sure is that he stirred up some members of the OSF and conspired with the Seiron forces. With them, he attacked Suo. So he did this to the city? Were you aware of this, Gemma? I didn't think he'd let others into the city, but I knew. Since you're with Yuito now, you're not aligning yourself with Seiron. Am I correct in that assumption? That's right. All right, I'll take any OSF allies I can get. You will all be under me now. I've split up troops to evacuate civilians, but there's just not enough of us. We'll help. I don't know what he's thinking, but I can't believe he'd endanger civilians. Thank you. Then I name Yuito as your temporary platoon leader. Me? Yes. Some of the council members failed to evacuate and are heading to shelter on foot. There's no communication from the backup OSF or the National Defense Forces. I want you to go see what's going on. The chairman and council members will feel safe with you. My father? Understood. I don't know what's going on, but it is dangerous. Everyone be careful. Even if you see other OSF, they may not be allies. There's no word of Seiron forces invading, but we don't know everything. We can't contact the central control center that houses Arahabaki. So don't take any risks. I'm counting on you. Understood. I'm going to the Central Control Center. First, we need to reboot the defense system or the battle control system. Let's head for OSF headquarters. The Council Shelter should be near there. You're okay with that, Gemma? Yes. My desire to protect Suo is the same as yours. I swear my loyalty. At least until this situation settles down. I trust you. What is Major General Karin thinking attacking Suo? Even if he has some reason, this is wrong! Here we go! We did it! Thanks, Tsunami. 
dangerous to move on foot in this situation. If he's attacked by another, please be okay until I get there. I'll help. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's keep this up. Come on. Here we go. We did it. Let's keep this up. Are you okay? You're Chairman Sumeragi's. Yes, I'm Yuito Sumeragi. There are others all over the city. Please go to the shelter right away. Please hurry to OSF headquarters. The chairman is being attacked by what look like OSF soldiers. What? My father? Hurry and help the chairman. Understood. Let's hurry. I'm worried about your dad. Right. Cat is being attacked by OSF? What the hell? I have to hurry! Dad. Kasane, 
Are you okay? Dad! Out of the way! What are you doing? <laughs> Yuito, you must die. What? What are you saying? I made a promise to you. Arm yourself! Here we go! You promised me that you'd kill me? What are you talking about? You don't need to understand. Die! business. If you get too close, not only will you not stop her, you could die. Here we go! Damn it! What is Kasane thinking? Yuito. Farewell. Did you kill me? What are you talking about? You don't need to understand. Die. Here we go. By any means. Stop it, Kasane! Don't go near them, Hanabi. Kasane means business. If you get too close, not only will you not stop her, you could die. Damn it! What is Kasane thinking? At this rate, Dad will... Kasane, we can do whatever you want later. I'm just worried about my father right now. Please, stop. There's nothing to talk about. Why? Come on. You. Why? Here we go. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> what do I do? Dad... I have to find a way to stop Kasane, even for a second. Oh, right! The brain field! I should be able to do it. I'm not as strong as Major General Karn, but if I try, though it might be too much for me. No! Think about that later. I don't have time to hesitate. Sorry, Kasane. This is all I could think of! <sighs> I can do this! Yeah! <laughs> 
It's an overdrive. It's dangerous. You Joe Pew me? Close to Greenfield right now. At this rate. to me is this the brain field no I can still fight wait what are you doing why are you trying to kill me and my father Kasane did you stab my father Wait, what's this? Attention all citizens of New Himuka. You blind fools who denied the truth before your own eyes. I am Karin Travers of the OSF. I reject the control of the New Himuka government as one of the Awoken. My allies and I have decided to cooperate with Ceyron, who share our will. Pitiful citizens of New Himuka, don't turn your eyes from the truth. This nation is insane. They control the city, the information, and the people with Sinet. Not even your thoughts are free. You are nothing but livestock born to be used by the state. is a regime that eliminates those that threaten them by driving them insane. They only raise submissive livestock they can control. There is no justice. Hey! Kasane's getting away! Wait! Wait! Yuito. Dad? Sugumi, we're going after Kasane. Yes. Dad! Yuito. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? There's so much I have to tell you. Be careful. This nation. This nation, we. You. Uh, Mr. Sumaragi! No way. You can't... You can't die! Dad, please!
That looks like the end of Major General Karn's speech video. The government has started blocking it, so it's inaccessible. So that means what he was saying is true. I knew everyone was under some control, but information is seriously being limited. <sighs> Why don't you rest a little? I mean, this must be hard for you. I'm sorry to make you worry. Don't apologize. I mean, something like that happening right in front of you, it would be hard for anyone. Kasane killed my father? Why would she do that? Did she really? And if New Himuka was trying to make a controlled society, my father and brother were at the center of it. Could he actually do such a thing? If so, then what's the reasoning behind it? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark about this? <sighs> Damn it! Nothing makes any sense! Both of you are all right. Gemma! Sugumi! I'm sorry. I lost Kasane. It's frustrating. We saw our meet up with Major General Karin, but we were attacked by the OSF with him. They disappeared while we were distracted. Since Sugumi couldn't track them, they must have been moved by a teleporter. I talked to Wataru too. He's all right, but his sister... Did something happen? She disappeared. I think she joined the Karin supporters in Ceyron. It seems nearly half of the OSF have joined him in Ceyron. There are rumors that Ceyron will declare independence. So, Kasane went to Seiron? Yeah, probably. What about you, Gamma? Yeah, I probably would have gone as well. But now, I don't understand what Major General... what Karin is doing. What do you mean? New Himuka really was watching its citizens. True, the New Himuka government is likely controlling its citizens. Even so... I don't believe that putting people in danger was the right thing to do. It seems Karin evacuated the civilians of Suo to shelters before this disturbance started. But even if he did, he was the one who let others into the city in the first place. And then there's Seto. If what he told me about Seto was true, then Seto wouldn't have risked his life to stop Nagi. If he trampled on Seto's dignity to increase his allies, then I can't forgive him. Or myself for being a fool and not believing Seto. Right. Captain Seto. And we don't know where Nagi is. Yuito, you don't look well. Look, Sugumi's worried too. Just take a break. A lot of things just happened. Don't push yourself. <sighs> Thanks, guys.
Yuito, thank you for coming. You look well. Oh, yeah, uh, you look well, too. <laughs> Just talk normally. It's not like I'm your boss. <laughs> I guess that's true. Okay, I will. Um, what did you want to talk about? Actually, I want to ask you about Gemma. We fought together when he was in Kyoka Platoon. We fight on different sides now, so I was wondering how he's doing. Gemma seems fine. But now that you mention it, he does look tired sometimes. That's what I was worried about. He can be too serious and awkward. Maybe he should pick up a hobby or something to take his mind off of work. You really do care about your friends. It makes me kind of jealous of Gemma. It would be encouraging to have someone who cared that much about my well-being. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. You never had someone like me to hover over you? My father and brother were always busy with work. The servants were nice to me. But I didn't have someone as kind as you to take care of me. Not since my mom died. I'm not as kind as all that. It's just that my friends who fight with me in the OSF are the same as family. Even when we're apart, I always wonder if everyone's alright. Also, Gemma isn't the only one I'm concerned about. I worry about you too. What? Me? Of course. Since we're both here, let me check up on you. You're not sick or anything? Uh, no. I've been pretty busy, but I feel pretty good now. Really? Well, no matter how busy you are, make sure to eat three meals a day and stay warm when you sleep so you don't catch cold. Oh, right. I got a really good charm recently. Um, where did I put it? No, that's fine. You don't have to worry that much. This is kind of embarrassing. Is this what it's like to have a mother hovering over you? Oh, really? That's too bad. But okay. We should talk again sometime. See you later. Why is Kyoka so kind to me? It's not like I was in her platoon or talked with her very much. Yuito, sorry Why are you apologizing? That white flower... I told you I would look into it, but I still don't know the name. Don't worry about it. I'm not in a rush or anything. But thank you for continuing to search for it. I will definitely find it. I will show you that blooming flower. So wait. Okay, I'll wait. But don't push yourself. Just do it when you have time. Uh, uh, wait. Mm hmm? What? Um... Huh. It looks like she wants to say something. I feel bad for putting pressure on her, so I'll wait a little. 
Um, how is your stomach feeling recently? Uh, my stomach? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess I haven't had much of an appetite lately. You should take some medicine. Thanks, I will. How did you know my stomach wasn't feeling well? My power. Oh, that's right. You're clairvoyant. So you have the ability to see inside my body. I do my best not to look into people's bodies, but it's hard to control. Sometimes I catch a glimpse. That's a useful power, but it sounds a little gross. That must be hard, Sugumi. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have looked without permission. Oh, don't worry about it. You seeing my organs is less embarrassing than if you saw me naked. Also, you told me because you were concerned. So, thanks. But... I still shouldn't have done it. Huh. How come you're always so hard on yourself? It happened a long time ago, when I was little. I wasn't as good at using my power then. I saw a lot that I shouldn't have. Inside bodies, inside rooms, people's secrets, things I didn't want to see. I didn't know it was bad, and I saw something my friend was hiding. <laughs> I told everyone about it, and my friend and all the adults were afraid of me. I was alienated. Everyone hated me. I didn't want people to hate me anymore, so I became afraid to talk to anyone. So I... I'm always careful not to see or talk about people's secrets, but... That sounds pretty terrible. Yeah, I did a bad thing. That's not what I mean. You were just a kid. There was nothing you could do. Those adults should have known better. I'm sorry that happened to you when you were little. Um... Uh, um... But it wasn't all bad. Really? From what I just heard, it sounds terrible. I didn't have any human friends, but my grandpa taught me about plants. My grandpa liked bonsai, and he knew a lot about plants. He taught me that plants are friends who don't talk. Friends who don't talk? Yes. Well, not with words, anyway. But with the shape of their branches, or the state of their leaves, they can tell us a lot. And when we're sad, they're always silently by our side. When I heard that, I started to like plants, too. I see. Your grandpa sounds really nice. <laughs> Thanks for the talk, Sugumi. Thank you for listening. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I will. Friends who don't talk, huh? Well, Sugumi doesn't talk much either, but she cares a whole lot. I guess liking plants is something we have in common. Um, Yurito? Yeah? What is it? Thanks. For everything. Huh? <laughs> sure, you too. It's gotten easier to talk to you. I'm happy to hear you say that. Are you going somewhere, Gemma? I'm going to Sumeragi Tomb to pay my respects. I have a friend buried there. I'm sorry for going at a time like this. I plan to come back as soon as possible. Sumeragi Tomb? Would you mind if I tagged along? I've never been out with you before, and I like going there. I don't mind. Shall we go then? Gemma hasn't come back yet. I guess paying your respects isn't something you rush. Maybe I'll go get my fortune told while I'm waiting. Oh, that Baki collaboration should still be going on. Whoa! 
Sorry to keep you waiting. What's the matter? Is that a fortune? The fortune came with a Baki keychain I didn't have yet. You really do love this Baki. I mean, look how cute he is. Such a round and adorable face. Are those popular? Sorry, I just can't relate to young people. Yeah, really popular. They're often featured in magazines. They're so popular, they have a collaboration with Sumeragi too. Do you want to give it a try? No, I'll pass. We've been here long enough. I had a lot to share since I hadn't been here in a while. You said you were here to see a friend. Can I ask who's grave? Some friends of mine. My parents, too. My family originally had a separate grave, but we moved them to this communal tomb since we're dismantling our own. Dismantling? I don't have any siblings or children. Since the Garrison family will end with me, there's no more need for individual graves. But you could have children in the future. I heard there are a lot of people who get married after retiring from the OSF. I'm sure a lot of people do, but I don't know anything beyond fighting. Besides, I could die in battle before I get to retire, just like my friends buried here. You haven't retired yet, but you're already thinking about your life ending? My actual age is already past 50. I think it's normal for OSF members my age to be thinking about their closing chapters. Really? I didn't think 50 plus was an age you'd be thinking about this kind of stuff yet. Besides, you could still fall in love. Nobody knows what could happen in the future. Fall in love? I don't think so. Although, I guess I can't say it's completely impossible. Yeah, there's still a possibility. You never know what might happen if you try new things. You might realize you shouldn't be wasting your time acting all old. Do I act old? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I am actually old, after all. That's what I'm talking about. That right there. It's not good. I mean, you should just be more positive about this. We're children of the state. Try incorporating your inner child. Inner child? Like how? You better not suggest kick the can or spinning tops. No, I'm not talking about what they did in ancient times. I mean more like trying out the latest trends. Latest trends? No, I'm too... Actually, this magazine that had a feature on Baki made a list of trendy new restaurants and foods. I'm kind of interested, so do you want to go with me sometime? To be honest, I'm not all too interested. But I can see how you're doing this for me. I guess I could try it once. Great! I'll look into it then. Thanks, Gemma. Oh, I should be the one thanking you. I guess I should take a break. Yuito, wake up! What is it, Hanabi? TV. A tabloid show. The Suo incident caused by Karin Travers is causing much confusion. 
The assassination of Chairman Sumeragi, ordered by Travers, brought great shock to New Himuka. Dad. We've drawn up an image of the witness account of the culprit, Kasane Randall, shown here. <gasps> Kasane? What's going on? That is awful. You can see the suspect's features so clearly. Hey, are you all watching the news? Wataru. Kasane's family and the OSF refused to provide a picture. Crow's streaming data was also deleted, so all they could do was draw up a picture of her. Man, I feel a little bad for Kasane. Oh, sorry, Yuito. I probably shouldn't say that. No, it's okay. I'm feeling a little bad, too. Yuito, you smiled. Thank goodness. What? Oh, right. I made everyone worry. I'm sorry. Just let us worry. That's all we can do. It looks like there are no after effects from the brain field. Thank goodness. It was your voices that brought me back. It was like... I wasn't myself anymore. Brainfield really is powerful, but you can't use it when you're emotional. I wasn't thinking straight. I knew it was a risky move, but I didn't imagine it would be this bad. Powers are affected by emotions, so it's probably the same with brain fields. If you can control it, it will be a powerful tool. So it's all in how you use it? That's a little scary. Just be careful using it. Anyone can change staying in a place like that. Oh, yeah. Chief Sumeragi wants you to come to HQ. My brother. Okay, I'll be right there. Wataru, uh, about your sister. Haruka? Don't worry about her. She's impulsive, unlike me. So she probably got concerned while looking after Kasane and the others, and ended up going along with them. What? Your sister is involved with Kasane? Oh, you didn't know? She's Kasane's operator. That's just how things are, so don't sweat it. But thanks. <laughs> okay, hurry up and get going before you anger the chief. Okay, let's go back to Suo. Why did you stop? What? Um... Weren't we just talking at the hideout? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Huh? When did we get back to Suo? Sorry to keep you waiting. We banned all interviews so crows would get off our backs. So it's okay now. Huh? Lieutenant Colonel Luca? Yuito. I asked you to just call me Luca. You're in command now. What? Wait a second. You mean when I was provisional commander during the Suo incident? No. You were just made commander by Major General Fubuki. When was that? Huh? You're acting strange. Wataru, is there anything strange about Yuito's cerebral data? No, nothing in particular. You don't remember meeting Major General Fubuki? No. We've been reassigned to OSF First Platoon. You're the leader and we're going out on patrol. Ugh. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should get checked out at the OSF hospital ASAP. What about the patrol? If things are hairy, I'll call the higher-ups. You're the leader. I can't force you to. But would you please go to the hospital? Yeah, you'll get peace of mind if you do. Right. You're right. Okay, I'll do that. I'll tell command about the patrol. As for getting to the hospital... Oh, my uncle is the chief doctor, so I'll take him. 
Also, because my uncle runs the show, if I send him a message, you'll be looked at right away. No need to worry. It's likely the result of exhaustion. There seems to be an excess of psionic hormones leaking in your brain, causing temporary confusion. I'll give you a prescription to stop the leakage that you can fill at our pharmacy. Take it when symptoms appear. Okay. Thank you. Suo from others in the Suo incident. In an unprecedented promotion, he was appointed to Commander of First Platoon. What is this? I didn't do any of that. It may not be exactly what you want, but deal with it for now. It's a request from Chief Kaito and the government. They want to raise you up as a hero who saved the country. Wait, that's right. We did talk about that. I can't remember most of it, though. Now, let's have a look at 2nd Lieutenant Yuito Sumeraki's March of Victory. Don't bother with the news. The media always does whatever they want. So how was it? Figure anything out? Yeah. They said it was exhaustion. I have to wait here for a bit for my prescription to be ready. Council Chairman Joe Sumeraki, slain at the hands of assassin Kasane Randall in the Suo incident. In light of such a dire event, our courageous second lieutenant, Yuito Sumeraki. Hey, if we have time to kill, why not look around the hospital? I didn't get a chance to show you around before. <laughs> You're very kind, Hanabi. Hey. At least it's far better than watching the crow's propaganda. Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. That woman looks like she's in trouble. Excuse me, is everything all right? Oh, sorry. I'm a dud. I, I just can't see the hospital's vision. A dud? Forgive me. I'm inept, so I can't activate the system that responds to powers. Do you know where the neurology department is? I can show you the way. People without powers are called duds? And you really were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth. It's because... Well, how can I put it? They don't really have much mental ability. That's a pretty harsh nickname. It is. But people without powers tend to refer to themselves as duds rather than inept. They probably have an aversion to admitting they have less brain power. Unable to use powers. That must be so inconvenient. Yes, I'm sure it is. The town's vision and even Cynet were created with powers in mind. I've heard that only 0.1% of the population is inept. I really think the government should give more consideration to them. Apparently at the OSF hospital, they're conducting research on ineptitude and how to cure it. Getting rid of the inept must be a goal for the government. Duds. Hmm. Why does that remind me of something? What's wrong, Hanabi? What's with that face? Well, when I brought that woman to the neurology center, I heard a nurse talking about some bus for urgent patients. Why would they put urgent patients on a bus? A bus? I must have heard wrong. I'm sorry. 
A bus is here. Underground. Underground? Why would a bus be underneath the hospital? They should make it come to the main entrance. The underground road is a special passage to leave the city. Hmm. There's no data on the OSF hospital, which means we have no idea what's going on inside. It wouldn't surprise me if they used an underground road to bring in emergency patients. Urgent patients? The Ichijo OSF Hospital's old building is outside of Suo. You mean Lokusho City? I heard it was badly attacked by others ten years ago. That not even ruins are left. That's right. Did you used to live in Lokusho City? No. I was born and raised in Suo because my father was disinherited from the Ichijo's main branch. I only went to Lokusho City every once in a while. But the hospital you were in was the old OSF hospital in Lokusho, right? I even went there to visit you. Right. When Lokusho was attacked, my mother was killed. <gasps> Nagi is on the bus? What? Nagi? Yeah. He was filed under missing persons. I might have been mistaken. Sorry, I can't track him. I'm not allowed access inside the hospital. <laughs> Alright. Sugumi, tell us where the bus with Nagi was headed. I've sent the coordinate data. It's in the direction of the old OSF hospital, in the Lokusho city ruins. Let's all go. If Nagi is alive, I want to see him and talk to him. Yeah, we need to make sure that really was Nagi. So this is the old OSF hospital. I was very young when I stayed here, so I don't remember much about it. There was nothing left of Lokusho. Aren't others only after human brains? Would they destroy the buildings? Good point. If this building is still being used, maybe they cleaned it up on purpose. Huh. It sounds like you have some information we aren't aware of. Right, uh, sorry. I do in fact believe that it's still currently being used. That's why I think it's likely that Nagi was brought here. Why do you think such an old facility is still being used? Well, once you get to be in the OSF leadership, you start to learn all sorts of information. I heard that the old hospital was being used for some type of operation several times. Is he hiding something? Tsukumi, the bus with Nagi went beneath this facility, right? Yes, but be careful. There are a lot of areas I can't see through inside. This place is dangerous. I can't read this place's data either. I won't be able to give you much support. Be careful. Okay, everyone. Stay on your toes. Nagi, there's so much I want to ask you. A resource reading near here. My power is difficult to use, but it is useful. Man, this hospital. I'm more afraid of ghosts showing up than others. Do you believe in ghosts? Have you ever seen one? No, I haven't. But if they do exist, they'd be here. Oh, if you need this, you go. I'll let you know. I must do more. Go, Yuito. If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health, so be careful. Come on! Oh. 
The big attack on Lokusho was 11 years ago. That was when the old OSF hospital was abandoned and the new facility moved to Sua. Yes, along with all of the patients and equipment. If we trust the government and ask it. <laughs> What? 
hindsight, it looked like Nagi was here. Let's keep looking. doesn't make sense. Why would there be others inside? The biggest reason others are here is for food. They want our brains. It doesn't look like there are many humans for them to feast on. Have you heard anything about this place from your uncle? No, not really. And I only really see him at New Year's, so... <gasps> there he is! Nagi! <sighs> Nagi! Nagi, wait! You're safe! Yuito... We were worried about you. Your name was on the missing persons list. Plus, I wanted to ask you about what happened. I'm... sorry. Nagi, what made you do that to us? How should I know? Huh? It feels like my brain just suddenly froze. And my head is all messed up. It won't stop spinning. How could that be? Leave! You can't stay here! What? What's gotten into... If you stay here, you'll be rehabilitated just like me! So that's what's going on. The rumors were true. Rehabilitation? Nagi? What's that? An alarm? Others! They must have been watching us. I'll take care of this. Get out of here! No, I'll fight too! I said no! There's no telling when I might snap and try to kill you guys again. Just like with Captain Seto. 
I can't let that happen. I'm begging you, get out of here! Then at least come with us. I can't. I just told you I could snap and turn on you any second. I'll find my own way out. You guys, go on ahead. They're gonna rehabilitate you if they catch you. Or worse, they'll skip that and turn you into an other. What are you talking about? But that's... Yuito, I'm sorry. Luca, why? You were panicking. It was best to do what Nagi said and leave the hospital immediately. But don't you care that they might be turning people into others? We can talk later. We need to regroup. This is the only place I could secure as a safe teleporting zone. We have no choice but to go on foot from here. They must already realize that we know too much. It would be best for us to run. I know this isn't what you want, Yuito. Normally, we would be following your orders since you're the leader. But this place is far more dangerous than we imagined. Please allow me to do what I can to prioritize our escape. Okay. Everyone, let's keep an eye out for others while we move. It's too dangerous to go back. It may be cruel, but we should prioritize our escape. Thank you. 
some help, Luca! It sprayed something like oil. Don't get it on you. The oil is sticking to me. Others? <laughs> 